Good afternoon, good morning, welcome to Friday's edition of Softer Side of Life, where we've got two hours dedicated to soft crafts. However, we did have two very, very busy hours when it came to wake up call earlier on when it comes to the soft craft items because it is a brand new launch when it comes to our animal applique stencils templates. Becky was showing you earlier on what you could be doing with them. But we'll be having a look in them in a lot more detail within Softer Side. But what I do want to just uh, give a little shout out to is the fact that today is day one of our, are you ready for this? You ready for this? This is for our, uh, well, our act of kindness event that we've got going on. This is where we are, day one of three. It's running from today, tomorrow, into Sunday. And then this is where we're going to get a free gift. Now, if you spend £20, $20 or €20, Euros, you are going to get a free gift, which is, of course, which you can see at the screen, your Sarah. This is your Sarah signature. This is your Gildan Flakes. It is your Gildan Flakes, and it is also the glue and the sponge applicator. So that is for today. That one is your Random Crafts of Kindness. As I did say a moment ago, it is running over the next three days. So that one, that offer ends midnight your time. You don't need to do anything. As long as your order comes to over that 20 mark, then it will be automatically popped into your order. You will find there will be something different, not necessarily a gift. It will be then something along the lines of the random crafts of kindness that will be tomorrow with Becky on this side and me across on that side. And then to finish off this lovely little event, we're going to have something else on Sunday where Becky is uh, not in on Sunday. It's going to be Debbie Robinson that's on this side and I'll be across on that side as well. Well, so as I say, you don't need to do anything to get that free gift, just as long as your order is over, of course, that £20, $20 or €20 Euro mark. But we've also got as well, clear out 10. Now, what does that mean, I hear you say, Craig, that doesn't what see? What does that mean, Craig? What does that mean? Well, if you didn't see Wake Up Call and you didn't see Ben's little boo-boo yesterday, that means if you get to the uh, checkout, now into that promo code, if you put clear out 10 in that promo code, you're going to get 10% off your order. Now, it does exclude any January or February launches. So once you know what you've got and you've got them into your baskets, as long as, of course, it's not January or February launches, it could be just things that you've seen in the past. Maybe you want to get your hands on the new Shimmer Ink Pads. Well, technically, they launch back in October, so that means you can take the benefit of that clear out 10 when you get to that promo code there. So just go in into that title of the promo code and put clear out 10. You're going to get that 10% off. We were saying within wake up call, maybe there's some days there's not anything specific that takes your fancy. If you see something like that when it comes to that promo code, have a look at maybe some of your cardstock. Have a look some of your glues, your adhesives, any of your essentials. Maybe you just want to stock up on multi-purpose cardstock. What to do as well is if you do go over that 20 mark, then of course you're also going to get your free gift as well. So it's a win-win. So get all the items into the basket that you want, work your way across to that checkout area and then when you get to the checkout area you're going to see that promo code where you're going to put clear out 10 in there really really simple and easy and you've got mr mosby to thank for that one so lots of lovely benefits as well we do sorry benefits ben ben efforts ah uh, yeah it's good that one Shh, i'm not introduced to you yet Shh, no oh, one knows sorry. you're here no one knows, knows you're I'm here uh, we do have Rebecca on social for softer sites. are already saying, Lynn is in saying, greetings from Isle of Wight. We've got Nick is also saying, hi, from London, UK. Well, hello to you too. It's lovely to see you. Any questions, any queries, do get them uh, fed through and we will uh, shout them across to well. I wonder who it could be. It is. It's the one. It's the it's it's the best when it comes to soft crafts. It's the best when it comes to inspiration. And you know something? She's even very, very, very good at paper crafts as well. But she is here all about the softer side, and that is Becky. It's me. It's me. Hello. You say I'm. It's great. me. I'm the only person that does paper. That does soft craft. That's true. So I'm, no, I've got to be the best, haven't I? Let's be honest. Um, yeah, we've got these beautiful um, applique. Um, templates that you saw earlier on in the wake up call they are really really beautiful I mean, i'm not surprised at being super popular mm -hmm. because they are absolutely great aren't they they're really really i'm just double checking again nicola what was it you said before the show how much has gone so to be exact 26 percent of the stock is gone 
So this is the main show we're properly looking at. We're delving in to this brand new launch as well. So let's do that because you do have two options. Now within Wake Up Call, so many of you were not going for the second option and I don't blame you because why would you when you see the benefits that you've got? Now we've got a showstopper collection. What I love with this as well, I don't know about you, Becky, but sometimes you, you hear the word showstopper and you think of something that's £100 or £150 yeah. or, you know, it's a big, big showstopper. Whereas this one is all about $38.96 or $49.03, which means you're also going to get something for five extra. So £5, $5 or €5 Euros that will go over. So that is your animal template. So these ones here is your animal applique templates. It is a 12 piece. Now what I will say, if you want to just get the four templates on their own, it's $33.96 or $44.03, which that is great. Really, really good value for money. But with the price on the screen that you can see, $38.96, or $49.03, that also means you're going to be getting your scissors and you're going to be getting your three erasable pens for five pound, five dollars, five euros. If you went for them separately, that would come down to $15.98 or $22.90. But within that showstopper, it works out that you're getting the scissors and the three pen for just five pound more. So that is why I'm not going to say all of you. There was a couple that did go just for the template, which is absolutely fine. But that's why predominantly most of you went for that Showstopper collection. Because Showstopper, as I say, you think of something big when it comes to numbers. But it's a really, really good number when it comes to your today's price, as well as that additional saving that you've got when it comes to the scissors and also the pens. Even better, though, if you are platinum, that then comes down to $31.17 or $39.22. And then on top of that, because you are over that £20, $20 or €20, Euro, you're going to get the free gift as well. Now, you don't need to do anything. The guys and the girls in the warehouse will pop that into your order automatically. It does end midnight your time, though, so just bear that one in mind. But you don't need to do anything. It's going to be added in. And what a lovely collection. Maybe you're starting out within the soft crafts. Maybe within the last couple of weeks you've started out in paper crafts and you've gone for that template library that has just been a runaway success that sold out so quick. Then maybe you're thinking, right, let's go into the realms of soft crafts. Let's go in with the animal applique templates where you're getting them all, plus the scissors and the pens as well. Really, really good uh, price today. Really good saving as well. Saving $16.98 or $25.67. Lots of fun things that you can be doing with these ones. We had a look within Wake Up Call, the things that you could do. I know Becky's away to show us in a moment. And in actual fact, Becky, you've got a load of finished samples that you're away to show us, don't you? I have. Um, I've brought out some slightly different ones as well. So you, if you watched the show earlier, you, you saw some of the samples. I'm going to repeat some of them again. But um, you can use these different templates. So there's three different sizes in each pack. So you've got... Um, four different animals and you've got three different sizes um, to play with for each one of these. So this one is your bear, um, but this is also a bear and making that into a little bit of home decor I think is absolutely gorgeous. So different size, different size bears. Mm -hmm. um, then you've got things like this gorgeous um, deer. So it doesn't have to be a reindeer, it could be um, a, any, any kind of deer. Yeah, it could be, it could be a cow, stag, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it could be a cow, yeah. Could be a, just a deer. It might be no, but we always think of deer as reindeer Christmas. We do, but don't obviously, we? you know, any time of year. Um, fox. Look at this T-shirt. Um, so just popping that onto an old T-shirt, a brand new T-shirt. Maybe you want to give these as little party favours um, in the goodie bags, and you give to, to children after yeah. the party. Becky's actually going to model that for us later on in the show. Yeah, I could fit it on one arm. I think is what I can do. There's no way that is going to go anywhere near me. But yeah, also that's quite, I, I, I'm not wearing my, my cape. Oh no. I've put my cape on in a minute. So that t-shirt is a really great idea, but also using them for table runners. This, um, this one obviously festive because he's got a red nose, um, but that is a great item to have. Um, using them to embellish little bags as well. This is really cute, oh, little toiletry bag. Um, maybe you want to do that for um, Easter. 
um, or you've got this one here, which has been finished up with a bit of quilting on the back, which looks really good. And of course, you can make and sell um, if you wanted to with these. So they're a really good item for you if you wanted to start making these for some kind of craft market mm -hmm. or something similar. Um, to show you the different sizes that we've got here, um, over the top, um, over, over here, you can see all these different shapes. Um, so these are different sizes um, here uh, of the animals. So you've got your little tiniest rabbit, um, you've got your middle size one, and these have all been finished off in a different way. So this one has um, blanket stitch by machine around the outside to finish it off. This one's just got running stitch. Now you can do them by hand, you can do them by machine. There's all sorts of different options. And there's the largest one. So you can see all those different sizes how they all work together. That is so well done. Lots of different options there. So that is your rabbit. Then we have the fox. Did you ever work okay. out what it said? It went me 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 me. That's what I reckon. <laughs> Do you not think? Is that why the crazy frog was chasing it? No, I'm going to have to listen to the crazy frog versus my, my fox, and I'm, I'm pretty sure they're very similar, actually. But they're not the same. Then you've got your um, bears, three bears. Very, very sweet. And then finally, you have your I've got no idea um, deer here. Yeah. Oh, so different sizes and then you know this kind of bigger one if you want to put it on a jacket on a quilt you can mix and match these with any of our builder mm -hmm. blocks um, you might want to use them as embellishments on bags on toiletry bags um, all sorts of different things cushions there's lots and lots of options here and of course you're going to get all three of those sizes with each one of those um, that you purchase and then as we were saying earlier on as well you can have a creative play when it comes up because that could be a chipmunk if you wanted yeah. it to yeah, but yeah, you know without the antlers it could absolutely yeah. be doing that no problem whatsoever we're going to go over something else that becky's going to be using as well but as i say we do have pam is also in saying hi craig and becky back to see the sewing covid got me back into sewing again oh. well we'll always have to think positive and always think of that silver lining don't we so it's so nice that you've been able to get back into so uh, nice. sewing isn't it so nice so nice it is indeed i'm full of them today lillian is saying hi i'm tuning in from london today Sarah is saying hello everyone. Becky and Craig, good morning from Arkansas. Michelle is saying good morning from PA. Lillian saying hi Becky, hi Craig. Samantha is saying, Becky, should I take the alphabet dies and spell out the Clearwright code to put it on a project? That's a very good idea. Yeah. That's a very, very yeah, good that's idea. That's a good idea. If I only should, you had if some. If I'd thought about that, I should have done that in the break, but I didn't have much of a break in between. No, did you I? didn't. I could have quickly made you a little clear out ten. Mm-hmm. Um, Jumper. Yeah. T-shirt. You could have. I could have just put it on the back of that beautiful jacket. You're coming nowhere near this new <laughs> jacket when it comes to anything like that. Absolutely not. Although I'll, I would trust you to do that, that really good job. Anyone else, I wouldn't. But to do that, you would need some alphabets. You would. And we've got them on the show. Mm -hmm. Now, what I would say is if you're not a soft crafter, if you're predominantly a paper crafter, consider these ones as well. I bought these for the purpose of paper crafting. These are your multimedia ones, so these are thicker, so they're gonna go through different mediums. So yes, they're still gonna go through your fabrics that Becky has been shown within Wake Up Call and is going to be shown, but think about your different mediums. Maybe you do like to do your memory books, your scrapbooks. You've then got mount boards, of course, then you can be using these. You've got uppercase uh, here, which you've got 26 in total. You've got your lowercase, where you've got 28, and then you've got your numbers and your alphabet within this one here which is 19 of them so this gives you a really good view as to what you're getting inside you've also then of course got your larger as well so all of these ones here alphabet number and punctuation multi-craft dies 73 in total so these are that darker kind of rose gold day tone when it comes to these 59.98 or 67.42 Platinum does come down to $47.98 or $53.94. And also, because these are ones that have been previously launched, consider that clear out 10 code as well. And of course, it's already over that 20 mark, so you are going to be getting your free gift as well. So handy to have, as I said there, whether it is your soft crafts, whether it is your paper crafts, whether it of course comes to different projects you want to include these with, you can absolutely do that. Becky, you've got some finished samples as well, don't you? Yeah, I mean, I think they're, they're, like you said, they're absolutely great for all sorts of different things. I mean, able to use them 
for your paper craft as well is obviously really useful. But having your little um, bags here um, with your makeup, no great. If you're going to be, um, there's a bride a wedding coming up or a, a bridal shower, uh, making these with bride on and bridesmaids is really good. You know, it's like a nice gift. Um, you've got a little um, organizer here with some bits and pieces on there. You can also make um, these kind of blocks that you would get for children. So not your proper die, but little blocks here. And then you've got other little bags you could do these as well. And then finally, you've got them for the, the use you, I suppose we say, really intended for to make this beautiful quilt. So personalise this quilt. It's absolutely gorgeous. What do you think, Craig? I think that's absolutely beautiful. I love those tones. I love that pink tones. But yeah, the different things that you can yeah. do. Someone's maybe got a nickname that you uh, can, of course, shorten and then do with having these alphabets. Everyone's got a name. Someone in the family wears that awkward spelling, that different spelling. You can personalise as well. Take them to the craft uh, clubs and crops and then uh, use them all together. Or maybe you are just all going to chip in when it comes to these ones. 59.98 or 67.42. Platinum comes down to $47.98 or $53.94. Let's just say the elephant in the room. I'm taking my, my cape off because you're not clearly not putting yours on. I, I, I need to, I don't, I think I might have actually cut it up to use the, for something else. They've all got theirs on in the gallery. Oh, okay, hold, hold because on. we've got bunny ears, we're like, oh put the bunny God. ears on, Craig. And I'm, I'm always up for some fun. This is not my cape. Look how small my cape is. This is a mini cape. Yeah, I, I, don't, I might have to find my cape in, in the break. In the well. break. But I do have a habit of picking up pieces of fabric and then cutting them up to make them into something else. Yeah, you done that earlier, didn't you? I did do that. <laughs> didn't you? Yeah. I don't um, think you should wear it, Craig. The only reason that you've taken it off is because you feel hot. I feel you? hot. You feel hot? No, I'm okay. You're not? No, I'm okay. I thought okay. you were hot. No, no, I feel no. fine. No. I feel absolutely good. I feel no. dandy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dandy. So. Um, now... Maybe you do want to get your hands on some paper craft items. We've got our shimmer ink pads. So yes, this show is all about softer side. We're going to go straight back to Becky just shortly, where we're going to get some demonstrations. But this is what I was alluding to before. These are just back in stock, the full 10 pack of the shimmer ink pads. These sold out within our birthday event with Leanne, and they sold out, and then they sold out, and then they sold out in that same day. Now we've had them within dribs and drabs, but now it's the same. Back in stock over the last few days, $53.91 or $71.91. You've got that saving of 10%, but of course, these launch back in October, which means you can take advantage of clear out 10. So anything within your basket that you've got, as long as it didn't launch within January or February this month, you could take advantage of clear out 10 within that promo code. Now with these ones as well, they are over that 20 mark, so that means you're going to get your free gift as well. Now we've got Starlit Sky, we've got Tropic Blue, we've also got Frosty Mint, we've got Toffee Apple, we've got Peach Rose, We've got Queen Bee, we've got Lime Soda, we've also got Amethyst, and we've got Raspberry, and we've got Sugar Plum. Now these are absolutely perfect to create your own, essentially your own Centura Peril cardstock. But them being water-based, you can do so many different techniques as well. They've been featured throughout the week where uh, Ben has had a kind of like a little swash book, book for you to see the different things that you can do with them. Go on our YouTube, see all the different things that you can be doing with them because you can still stamp with them, you can still ink up, you can then still do all your different techniques with them. These are gorgeous, they are beautiful, and as I say, they are as a full 10-pack back in stock, $53.91 or $71.91. You've already got that 10% saving. Take off another 10% at that clear out 10. And then even on top of that, you're going to get your free gift as well when it comes to your gilding flakes. But if you are platinum, it's going to come down to $43.13 or $57.53. Very quickly as well, we do have two new buddy bags when it comes to our easy to organise as well. We've uh, got two of them that are going to work really, really well when it comes to maybe storing some of your fabrics if you want to. We've got 
Faileen. Now, Faileen, she's going to hold up to 11 6 by 6 paper pads, but we've also got chastity as well. Now, when it comes to your square ink pads that you might have, it's going to hold up to about 28 of them, or also they will hold our Spectrum Noir ones, but they'll hold up to 12 of your small Guild and Flake pots as well. So easy to organise. It's a new configuration when it comes to packaging. You will know the same quality, the same, what's the same product, the same quality, the sheer stitching all the way around is exceptional so that concept of that being easy to yes organize but easy to store and carry because of the handles when it comes to these ones you're also now going to start seeing QR codes on the back of them you can just zap and then it's going to take you to lots of different ideas as to how you can be using them we'll be looking at these in more detail with myself and Tiffany later on in the day but if you do want to get your hands on these brand new ones 25.98 or 29.98 platinum comes down to 20.78 or $23.98 with 50 extra bonus points as well. You will get your free gift as well. And when it comes to the buddy bags going forward, you will start to see the new branding of this easy to organize coming through. And they're all going to have that QR code on the back, which I just think is exceptional in the different ways in which you can use it. Uh, right, very, very quickly before we jump straight back to Becky, we've got... Michelle is saying good morning from PA. We've got Lillian saying hi, Craig. Hi, Becky. We've got um, Lynn is saying love that set. Liz saying, I'm not a sewer yet. I've inherited a Gemini machine, which my sister is going to teach me how to use. Oh. Lynn Blackledge is saying I've been using the shimmer ink pads to make backgrounds while batch making for fundraising. Well, that's a Lovely good idea. idea. And then I've got a question. We'll go straight to you, Becky, straight mm -hmm. after. Sandra Dundas is saying, hello, everyone. Craig, could you please ask Becky if she has stamped out onto full leather and coloured using alcohol pens? No, I haven't. Um, but I have... I have leather okay. and I have alcohol pens at home. I bet you've got lots of leather at home. I have got lots of leather at home. Um, I used to make a lot of leather bags. Um, but yeah, I could definitely um, give it a go. I'll give it a try when I get home. Maybe someone remind me. Mm -hmm. um, but I won't, be, I won't be home till Sunday. Monday, Sunday. 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 You've got me um, tomorrow. You lucky thing, yeah. Well, it's a good thing that I finish at four so I can rest. <laughs> You'll need it. Because I'll need a break. No, to get ready for the onslaught of tomorrow, won't yeah, I? Yeah, you will I do. I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, right to you. If you do want to get your hands on this new launch, Becky's way to show you. $38.98 or $49.03. And three, this is your animal applique template 12 pack it is the showstopper because you are also going to be getting your scissors and your three erasable pens as well you can go for just the four templates on their own that comes to 33.96 or 44 dollars and three but with that showstopper it works out for an extra five pound five dollars or five euros you're going to be getting the scissors and the three pens if you went for the scissors and the pens separately they come to 15.98 or 22 dollars 90 so that is why so many of you within wake up call have gone for that show stopper collection talking about that we need to see what we can do with it yeah um i am going to use the bear um follow the bear that was a heineken advert wasn't it um we're going to be using the bear one here so um you've got three different sizes of bear so i sort of said mummy bear daddy bear baby bear but obviously it could be any kind of bear but i thought what are the things that we think are three bears goldilocks so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to do a goldilocks and the three bears okay. themed Brown. item um, so in here it says to, you're going to get two pieces don't open it up thinking oh, i've only got one template and they've not given me everything you only get one template and you get the instructions these are the two pieces um, so you'll see here this is what the instructions and the templates look like the templates are on a thick piece of acetate um, so you'll be able to use them multiple times they've got these little holes in between them so you can draw through with your heat erasable pen or indeed with any kind of pen or tailor's chalk that you might have you can also use some of our mark away spray if that's what you want to do if you're using it on sort of very dark fabric okay. now some of these um, shapes will involve you folding your fabric in half and putting your fold line along here and then cutting out or drawing out so you could basically get you know, a mirror image of your shape um, and that's what we're going to do with this bear um, this one over here your scarf you do the whole piece first of all and then you also do this piece and that makes that little um, fold of the scarf but we've we've highlighted everything out you do need to remember when you're doing ears you need to flip over the template obviously otherwise both your ears will be on the same yeah. side 
otherwise, unless you're using you know, solid fabrics, then obviously it doesn't really matter. Um, so really easy to use. Um, I've got a little bit of pen mark on there. That was for my heat erasable pen. To get rid of that, I could just run my iron over the top of it or um, hairdryer indeed, yeah. um, because it's plastic. So you don't. Can I just quickly ask yeah. Becky, and I'm, I'm putting myself in the crafter side that maybe got our template library and initially said to me, oh my gosh, Craig, that template re looks really complicated to, to work out. It is very, very straightforward and yeah. simple. It is really it simple. We've, there's no overlapping of these templates. Now, sometimes with other things that we've done, you've got some overlapping, especially with the bag templates, because we're trying to squeeze quite a lot of things into one place. Um, you don't have that here. It's all very, very clear. Um, you've got very little, very slight overlapping, but not overall. And then we've given you a little recipe um, guide in order for you to create your own bear. Um, I'm sure it's not called, well, it's called your constructions, but mm -hmm. I think they're recipes. Um, yeah, that's, I, that, I that's see what it, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. How to make a bear well if you refer back to the template library that we done the book yeah. that came with it was your recipe of oh template. okay so, so yeah. i'm not quite as mad as i th thought i was and then over the side here it gives you some in in instructions as to how to put it together now you can if you've never done a plique before plique is surface decoration so it's not about um, when you've got patchwork where you're sewing pieces together to make one whole piece of fabric like you do with you know, little squares little triangles it's about having one piece of fabric and then having other fabric on the top on, on the surface so a little bit like you know your embroidery mm -hmm. all that sort of thing yeah, beading is all considered surface um, uh, design. Um, it will show you how in here the idea is about how to adhere it. So you can adhere it with something like Bondo Web, which is the paper that I was showing you before. It's basically paper and a sheet of glue. Um, so you iron onto the back of the fabric on the paper side and it makes the glue adhere to the fabric. Um, and then you peel the paper off and then you stick it down and then iron it again. And then you've got um, glue fuses the two pieces of fabric together. Okay. Um, or you can use some of our sprays. Um, so we've got our stick and stay Oh, why can I not find you? I tied you up earlier. This it's is nice a mistake I made. It's so, stick and stay spray. Which this one is the one with the orange top, which I've lost. Um, I've not lost a child on it. And um, that, that is the stuff that you would spray onto the back of your, um, your fabric and then place it down and then iron it. So it works in exactly the same way. It's just spray glue rather than sheet glue. Mm -hmm. um, so those are the options. And it also talks about how you want to finish them off. So you can finish them, the, the stitching off, we finish the applique off with some stitching. You could do that by hand. You could do it with your sewing machine. Um, you, there's all sorts of different types of stitching you could do. Um, I'm probably not going to do much stitching of that, that today because it takes quite a long time and it's really quite boring for you to watch. But um, I'll show you how I would do it and I'll show you some samples as well. Oh, that'd be good. So we're going to get started. We're going to have a go at making a bear. So I've got some fabric here, which I thought was bear coloured. Um, you know what I mean. I know what you, I know what you it's mean. Like a, it's like a bear I don't know color. why Nicola's laughing and giggling. <laughs> she is giggling. She is. Yeah, she's in a giggly mood today. She's in a giggly mood. So this piece, I'm not going to put any bondo web on. I'm just going to put my fabric and fold it in half. Just it around this way. So I want to use the smallest piece here. So I'm just going to fold my fabric so I'm not wasting anything. And I'm going to use my spray adhesive for this piece here. See how you're flipping or you're folding your fabric? Yeah. Could you simply draw around one, instead of folding your fabric, could you draw around one side of the template and then flip the template over? You could. So it's a mirror image. You could, but you might find, um, this is an easier way of doing it, because you've only got really to do it once. Um, yeah, that, that would be an option. Um, it, sometimes if you've got um, fabric that's quite dark, and you've not got um, your, your cutting mats quite dark. Sometimes cutting mats are green mm -hmm. rather than the grey ones that we sell. Um, you might want to just pop a piece of white card underneath so you can really see where that ah, edge right. is. Ah, yeah, right, yeah, see what you mean. That's probably a bit better for you to see. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. um, so what I'm going to use is my heat erasable pens and I'm just going to mark through here. So I'm doing the smallest bear here. Remember, you get the pens in that showstopper, them in the scissors, three pens in the scissors just for an extra fibre. And then it's just a case of cutting that out. Now, what I will do very quickly is just roughly cut because I find it a little bit easier. See, I do that with paper craft. Do you? Yeah, I roughly cut around and yeah. then I go in and then follow the well, line. Well, it, it stops it from being so fiddly, mm -hmm, doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? It means you can lift it more easily, yeah. can't you? Absolutely, you can. So you could use your rotary cutter. If you're going to be using your rotary cutter, you want to use the smallest one you have to cut around here. But I think it's just as easy to do with your scissors. 
So um, you're using our Crafters Companion purple handed scissors, you know, which, you know, I know from watching Leanne, you know, they're perfect for those, of course. Yeah. The scissors you get within the showstopper, could you use them as well? Yeah, I was just looking for them. I did have them in my box, but I've got about 30 pairs of scissors in mm -hmm. here. Yeah. Um, yeah, you can absolutely use them. If I, if I might have another rummage. Um, they've got a curve to them. Um, like this, that kind of curve. And it means that cutting round curves is quite useful, but more so, they are really good because you um, you can get right into your work. I'm like, you know, I know they're so beautiful, aren't they? I'm just Thank holding you. them the right way. Um, so you can see you've got a curve here, like that, and this would be your normal pair of scissors. So you've got that little curve. Now, they're really useful because if I'm going to be doing some work on my sewing machine, um, or I've got a tangle on my sewing machine, I can actually cut really, really tight underneath the sewing machine here. But they're also great for stump work if you're going to be doing things like that on trimming. Maybe you've got pom-poms, they work really well for those. So I am going to use these curved scissors and you can see okay. that they work really well. Strong packaging as well. Well, you want strong packaging when it comes to scissors, don't you? Don't Definitely. Don't falling out. Strong and secure. Yeah, it's really important. Got to be safe. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. So when we open this up, this will give you a total oh, little, look. Um, little bear shape. Little bear. Little bear. Right. Let's just trim these bits out of the way. So that's handy. I know I touched upon this within Wake Up Call, but within this showstopper, and it's something we do quite a lot when it comes to collections, if you're getting something free or something for a few pounds or dollars more, it's all things that you that are all relatable to that collection. Yeah. So we're not putting in something that are, you know, we're, for me, I would think, why would you put a stay sticky glue pen in there? You wouldn't do that for me, a paper craft. But with this, you need your erasable pens. You've got them within there. And then most people have scissors, but if you don't, they're in there as well. So you've got relatable items all within the Showstopper collection. Well, I think it's nice to have a dedicated, um, dedicated scissors to the craft that you're doing. Mm -hmm. um, I know that um, Leanne says, you know, you can use these, the, all the scissors for paper, the, the purple ones, for paper craft and for... Um, uh, fabric and I do. I know normally I would, it's sacrosanct, I absolutely do not touch my um, scissors that yeah. for fabric with paper, but actually they work really well. But I think if you've got a dedicated pair of scissors um, and those curved scissors are really, really good, and yeah. um, that's a good option for you. Yeah, but see, I, I do still use one, my medium pair of scissors, I still just use for any of my ribbon or anything like that. And although you can use it for paper craft, as you say, I think it's just been ingrained in my mind yeah. over the years that paper scissors and, you know, fabric scissors have to be different. Yeah. So although you can use ours for both, I still just have that mental, uh, mental mind of using just this one pair just for my my ribbons. I do have a couple of pairs of um, scissors at home and they've got ribbon on them when they're for fabric but still still even though I've been with my husband for well actually probably as long as most of the people in the gallery have been alive um, he still uses my fabric scissors. Does he? For, uh, breaking down boxes. <gasps> I know I, I mean I, I, I think it's actually well I think it's it's Grounds for divorce. I would say so. I reckon. You could do better, Becky. Yeah, I know. I say that to him a lot. I, Craig says I could do better. Mm, yeah, <laughs> you tell him. I will, I will. Yeah. So I've, I've cut out the face. Oh, tell and him to snout. his face. <laughs> At a distance. <laughs> would you tell him to his face? Yeah. Me? Okay. At a distance. I'm going to bring him, I'm going to bring him up for the, the, the party in the summer. Okay, dog. And you, you can tell him. Didn't want to come, did he, this year? Or was he busy? Well, he just said, it's a long way. And it is a long way. Um, you know, it's a, it's a, um, a nine-hour round trip. Yeah. He doesn't um, want to see the crafter's TV lot getting drunk, does he? No. And he's just said, he did say, well, I don't really know anybody, and you'll just leave me alone, yeah. which is very true. Yeah. So I would have just left him Nicola alone. Nicola was swinging from the chandeliers that day. Oh, pff, I know. I know. You didn't have any alcohol. <laughs> no. I don't believe that for one minute. Right. Now, um, <laughs> I've cut out um, the bits and pieces here. Now I'm going to do the scarf. So um, if you remember what I said, so I'm just using a, an ordinary pen here. I don't need to use a heat erasable pen. You absolutely can do. 
Um, but I'm going to save my heat erasable pen because I don't really need to use it for this. Where bit. would you and wouldn't you use a heat erasable pen? Do not use a heat erasable pen for a check. <laughs> Okay. I would you, say. Uh, sorry, you, you are still very young, can I just say, but do you still use cheques? No, my mum does. Oh, your mum does. Okay, okay that's so my, fair enough. My mum wrote enough. a cheque for the window cleaner and left it on the radiator um, and then... Disappeared? It disappeared and she couldn't okay. work out what she thought she was going mad. Mm -hmm. So I let her think that for a little bit of time and then I said, no, actually, it's a heat erasable pen, mum. Um, and that's why it doesn't exist anymore. So um, I use the heat erasable pens all the time. I would just say that when you're using them onto, this is, whilst this is paper, this is Bondaweb, it's paper, it's almost a waxed paper. It's almost like a grease proof paper. Um, the pen works fine, but um, it doesn't work as well as, a, as a, an ordinary pen. If you can see it, you know, because it's not water, no, it's, it, the water doesn't, you know what I mean? it's waterproof. Yeah. So it doesn't sort of sink in. But I use these, um, all the time, I have them in every colour. Um, I just think they're really useful because I love the fact that you don't have to um, worry about the marks that are going to be there. Okay. You just have to, no, don't worry about them at all. Um, so I'm just going to cut this all out um, here. So this is going to be the scarf. And I might possibly do a little bit of, go a little bit off piece here. Mm -hmm. Do something a little bit different. I don't know. Eleanor Jones is saying, hi everyone. She's saying, hi Craig and Becky and the CCTV team. Lynn Harvey Hello. saying, hi again Craig, Becky and the TV team. The wonderful social media superstar, which is Rebecca for uh, Softer Side, and everyone. We've got Nicola who's staying in the, she the, the ship today. We've, uh, we do have Charlotte, but we've also within Softer Side, we've got uh, Jamie as well. And then we've got Jake is about somewhere this weekend busy beavering away for uh, what's going to be a busy but fun weekend shows. We, we, it's, it's us. It's, it's you, us. Me, me and you and lots mm -hmm. and lots for us to do. Uh, uh, yeah, it's been quite funny. I was speaking to Lily before we went live on air. Yeah. And, you know, I've done either a Saturday or a Sunday. It's been a while since I've done both a Saturday and a Sunday. And it's been a while since I've done it across on that side. So this is why it's going to be lovely that, you know, again, it's me and you tomorrow, but we're flipping and flopping. You'll be on this side, I'll be on that side. Mm -hmm. And then once again, Sunday, I'll be on that side for the first two shows. Debbie Robinson will be on this side for the first two shows. And then for second chance Sunday, we'll let's switch about. So I'm really looking forward to uh, being with you and Debbie over the weekend. Debbie or Becky? You and Debbie. Okay. Yeah. If you watch the earlier show, you'll know what yeah. we're talking about. Right, so let's move that over here. This is my pillowcase that we're doing. Wow. Not doing a cushion, we're doing a pillowcase because I thought actually, if you've been reading some fairy stories, you mm -hmm. might want to do something with the mummy bear, the, ba the, the, bum the daddy bear, the mummy bear, mm -hmm. and then the baby bear down here. Oh, so we're gonna place this baby bear here we're going like to put who it all ate together my porridge. with those cases. Huh? What did you say? Who ate my porridge? Who ate my porridge? Well, who mm. ate the porridge? Who ate who the was porridge? It? Who was it? It was Goldilocks. Goldilocks. Yeah. And, you know, you've got the three bears there and you can be Goldilocks. Well, you're just going to have to wait. I am. Yeah, you're just going to have to wait, Craig. Mm. You're just going to have to wait. So this one is has not got any kind of glue on it at the, at the moment. So I'm going to use my tweezers and I'm going to use some of my stick and stay spray. Now I will rather, because these pieces are quite big, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece of plastic down here and I'm just going to hold it like that and just put the spray on here. So when you saw me earlier on, I was spraying it from afar because they were quite small pieces. This one's a little bit bigger. And then we'll place that down. So it's not tacky at the moment okay. for me. Um, it's just when I start ironing it, it will then sort of melt that glue yeah, on the that. Yeah, the adhesive starts to melt. So you can reposition it. I just love that idea. A, pardon? I just love that idea, like you've got uh, mum, you've got dad, you've got baby as well. But then, you know, it could, of course, as we know nowadays, you know, it could be two dads, it could be two yeah. mums. But then you could have two, you could have three, you could have four babies. Or you can have them in a line there. Or you can have them dotted about. Or just one on the cushion. I like how the stencils give you three different sizes yeah, as well. It does all make a together real within that one stencil. 
And then if you do see different animals, you can have that creative play and uh, come up with your own ones. Well, actually, this reminds me a little bit of a badger. If you change the ears, yes, this yeah. could be a badger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, you just need was, to make um, a bodger. One of my neighbours um, shared a video that was from someone else's um, doorbell, you know, one of the video doorbells, and it was a, it was a fox going for a little bit of a walk with a badger. Really? Yeah. It was so cute. Uh -huh. I don't see anything like that. All that I get is just my phone alerting me that my blink camera has caught a cat just walking past. <laughs> I've I not, I've not got like one of those cameras. And I, I think if I did, I'd spend all my time looking out the window, which I do quite a lot anyway. Mm -hmm. But I'd be, I'd be like a meerkat in the, in the night. If I hear something, I'm up. I'm like, oh, yeah. what's going on? So we're just placing all those pieces in the right place. We were actually, we were also changing the subject completely there. Yeah. Uh, this morning when um, Grace and Olivia, who's joined the team, we were chatting in the green room. I can't remember how we got on the subject, Becky, but it was about where, uh, oh, how would we word it again? Not flaws that we've got, but... Oh, idiosyncrasies. Well, there you go, idiosyncrasies <laughs> that we've got. What did you say your one was? I can't remember now. What did I say? Can't well, my one was, when I make a cup of tea, I always use the same teaspoon. Oh, yeah. Always use the same teaspoon. I know it's, if I go from here, that doesn't really matter. But if I'm at home, if I use a different teaspoon, I think I, I taste a difference. I know it sounds daft and I know it sounds weird, but I always use that same teaspoon all the time. And you did have one that you can't I, remember now. I, tap, I always tap a can of drink before I drink it. I remember, I remember what else you what said. Was if you knock something, oh, yeah, you have always to stroke, it. stroke it. Yeah, <laughs> always have to stroke Which it. Which is problematic in a big group of people. You know, in the, at the Christmas sales, you know, you're bumping into people. No, if I, if I, if I sort of accident, if I did that, I have to yeah. the, uh, no, make sure it's okay afterwards. Grace was saying that she always uses the same hairbrush. Yeah. Always. Yeah. Uh, Olivia did say something. Rebecca, have you got, if you've got something like that, let us know. And that's what I was leading on to. Have you got something like that? Is there something like, it doesn't have to be crafty related, but is there something that you always do? Or as Becky was saying, an idiosyncrasy? Idiosyn idiosyncrasy. Yeah. yeah. If you've got something like that, let us know. I'm I think everyone does, don't they? They've I think they've got, got to. Yeah. Strange. Um, and they're only, they're only strange to people that you know, don't have the same kind of affliction, mm -hmm. um, I suppose, for want of a better term. I'm trying to think what Olivia said hers was. I can't remember now. It was, it was a couple of, over a couple of hours ago, Craig. I'm not going to be able to remember that. What's Nicola's? Nicola must yeah. have an idiosyncrasy. You must have an idiosyncrasy. You must do. Doesn't um, Brent do a funny hiccup? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe that's his idiosyncrasy. But yeah, it just it got me thinking. You, you'd said something there that sh which triggered the uh, memory of us talking about it earlier on. I thought, oh, I'm going to ask that. When, um, when my husband mows the lawn, um, he checks his abs as he's walking along mowing the lawn. And he doesn't even realise he's doing it. Uh, but he's always done it. Um, I, I remember him doing it when he was about 15 or 16. As he goes around, he's, sort of, he's mowing the lawn, he's just checking his abs. Still there. Really? Yeah, yeah he's always done it since he was a teenager, and we've got no idea why. Yeah. The other thing, I, I like the feel of labels. You, you certain, la certain labels, clothing labels. Oh, yes, yeah. Let's like yeah. have a fiddle with a label. I like to have a fiddle yeah. with a label, yeah. I do, yeah. But it has to be a smooth label, not one of those crunchy labels. Just like a nice a smooth silky I know label. it's weird, but silky, yeah. Do I, yeah, no, Nicola doesn't like crunchy labels anyway. A nice smooth one, but yeah. <laughs> All these funny things. Right, so you can see how it's building up. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out these teeny, teeny, tiny pieces, which are for the face. Now, if you saw me earlier on, I was talking about if you have any of our festive friends applique dies or any of the animal applique dies, they do come with tiny, tiny dies um, that are circular that would be absolutely great for cutting out um, the little tiny eyes or the little noses. Um, so you can see here, well, you can't see here yet, but with my great big sausage fingers, this is going to be a bit of a challenge for me to cut around here. Um, now, the other options would be, of course, to embroider um, these little um, 
shapes on or indeed cut them out and then glue them with some textile glue that would be another option okay um, i've just got some um bonder web on the back of these as well right so i'm just cutting around with my tiniest scissors and Lillian is saying, I gave, a sew, I gave a sewing friend a pair of the big scissors and she simply would not accept that she could cut them or use them for both your soft crafts as well as your paper crafts. Oh, I, I do. Um, I didn't think I would, but I do use them for both. Sarah's saying, hi, Craig and Becky again. Back with you. Nearly finished my quilted pillowcase I started with you guys this morning. Aww. Loving these characters. Already purchased the showstopper. Excellent. We'd like to see the, the picture of the... We should do. Yeah, definitely. Is it studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk? Studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. I believe we do have a couple of photos anyway we're going to be showing within this show here. We were talking about earlier on in Wake Up Call the Wind here in Newton Aycliffe because it was horrendous, although it's still died to death at the moment, which is great. However, Shadai is saying, I'm so late. Terrible snowstorm here. Oh. Stay safe. If you are in any snowstorm, where is windstorm. Where she in New York? She's I'm not York, sure where about. I'm not, do you know something? I've not actually looked at the world weather this morning. So I'm the not sure what it's like weather. elsewhere. Yeah, not sure. World weather's good morning, Britain. They usually cover it. It's what I watch. Uh, yeah, they do, Nicola. Yeah. Do you know I always wanted to do that job? Did you? Yeah. Apparently it's so, so hard because I, I think... Nowadays more, there is an actual vision, visional screen behind them. Yeah. But the screen that you said, it was just it's blank to them. And yeah. they were left left to right or back to front. Yeah. And, oh, I wouldn't like to do that. I went for um, a couple of auditions for a few TV channels when I was about 19 to do the weather, but I'm, I don't know where anything is. Mm -hmm. And my geography is really bad. Oh, snap. <laughs> um, and that's, what I, that's the reason why I think I didn't get the job because when they said, oh, there's, a, there's um, a, um, a cold front coming in from Cambridge, I was like... Because <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know where anything was. That's what I reckon. Right, so we've got our bears, three bears. But we need something else at the top, which I'm desperately trying to find. So I've got some letters that I've already pre-cut using those dies. When you're cutting the letters with the fabric, what's your plate configuration? Um, now I use my fabric plates for so these. So you do, yes um, you do. So I use my fabric plates for these. So if you've got fabric plates, brilliant. If you don't, it doesn't matter. So your fabric plates look like this, not like that, look like this. So you've got two very strong metal plates like this, one A, one B. One is slightly thicker than the other. Doesn't matter which way around you use them and I've discovered I've been using two A's for quite some time. Um, so it, it, again, it doesn't really matter. So all you do is you have your clear plate, your uh, metal um, fabric plate, you put your fabric there and your die on top, this on top, and then that and go through your machine. But if you wanted to use these applique dies with your normal machine and, your, sorry, not normal machine, but your, the plates that came with your machine, you would just use, um, go over here and grab the bits and pieces that I need. I use these, so you can see I was using this mm, earlier yeah. on. Um, you know, it does. You do get a lot of marks on these ones because you know they are multimedia dies. Um, and then my frosted shim over the top of that. Um, and I think I even use a magnetic shim because I was only cutting two layers. So you can cut multiple layers or you can cut felt as well. Um, so that is a good option for you. Um, but I've got lots of letters here. So I'm just going to spend a little bit of time picking off the backing of them okay. and laying them out. And um, maybe we can have a competition as to what I'm going to be writing up here. I think that's a really good do idea. Do you know what I'm, have you got an idea what I'm N going to be writing? No, not yet. Not no. yet, so we can ask at home, you can let us know, I'll read what we've got here first of all, and then yeah, if you have any ideas as to what Becky's going to be writing, we do have Elner Jones is saying, this is going back to the uh, idiosyncrasies, so we were talking about earlier, Elner is saying, I always eat the same potato chips, oh. they are Lay's, cheddar and sour cream, they're my favourite and my cats love them too, eat them with me. Oh. Rosalind saying, we have lots of coffee mugs, but I always use the same one every day. Elnar saying, oh, I forgot, I also drink can, uh, Canada Dry. I won't drink any other soda. Leanne's like that, that with her gin. Um, ginger, is that ginger ale? Ginger Canada ale, Drill? isn't it? I, don't, I haven't seen that. 
yeah. over here for for decades. Have you not? No, no, no not at all. No. no. Um, yeah, Leanne's like that with her gin and, and her tonic. Has to be Schweppes. Yeah. Has to be, yeah. Really? Has to be Schweppes. By the way, she's back here on Monday with me. She's on this side all day Monday, and I'll be across on that side all day Monday. So it'll be good back working with uh, Leanne. We've got a new launch as well. We, Re Rebecca's letting us know that Shada is in Ottawa, Canada. Oh, uh, okay. So yeah, that'll yeah. that'll be that'll explain the coldness. Alison Marr saying we've not got we've not long got our power back in Aberdeenshire. It was off before six a.m. I know, yeah, Aberdeenshire's got it bad. They always get it bad because, of course, where they are up in the north. And Eleanor's also saying, I love Becky's outfit today. Oh, thank you. Funny enough, Grace was saying that as well this yeah. morning. And it's, it's a dress. It, it's not... And she this made is it not herself. The, no, I didn't make it myself. But it is a dress that I've had in the, in the wardrobe for a really long time. I just hadn't bothered wearing it, which is often the thing that I say to my husband when he goes, is that you? I go, oh, no, I've had it in the wardrobe for ages, but this is true. I've not actually... Worn it. I had it for about a year. Yeah. Um, but yeah, not true. Does anyone know what I'm going to be writing? Um, uh, it's like it's like countdown. It's like um, it? countdown. Yeah. <laughs> no. No. Wishy washy. Wishy washy. Um, We're going to start. Who's been who's been sitting in my chair? Where? 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 Where did my heart beat last? Where? <laughs> Where? Is Goldilocks? Where, where is Goldilocks? Oh, let's just check. I've not got all my letters. Where are you? Yeah, They're I around gathered somewhere. that was Goldilocks. I, do you know what? I knew this was going to happen, so I have got some um, to cut as well. Okay. Anyway, um, locks. I, I need is... another. I need another eye. And I Could need you make a, a word out of I've just lost an eye and I've lost a D. But I will, I will find them in a minute. So where is Goldilocks is what we're going to have up here. Um, so I'm going to start putting these together. Um, now, I will fold that over because it just makes it a bit easier. Um, again, I've used um, Bonder Web on here, so it should be quite easy just to glue these in place. Um, mm. it does, I don't think it really matters if they're not quite yeah. in line because I think that makes it look whimsical. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. the word and we're going for Also, here. it makes it, if you... If you try to be straight, the slightest word yeah. or item that is out of place, it looks out of place. Whereas if you do intentionally go on the jaunt, then uh, of course it's uh, more pleasing on the eye. But a few good guesses. Sandra Dundas is saying, is Becky writing Goldilocks? Close. We've got Michelle Parsons is saying, is Becky writing Goldilocks and the Three Bears? Close. Sandra Dundas is also then saying, is Becky writing, who's been eating my porridge? <laughs> uh, Rhonda Crawley, Creations is saying, the three bears. Alison Marr is saying, who ate the porridge? Rhonda is also saying, is she writing, sworn bears? And then Rhonda's saying, she could be writing, who's been eating my porridge? So you're all <laughs> in that same kind of correct realm, but... We're nearly there. Right, I'm going to run these. So I need, what do I need? I need a D. You need... <laughs> I need a D. Mm -hmm. And I need, um, oh, I haven't, I haven't taken the, and there's a reason why that wasn't sticky, because I hadn't stick. taken the backing off it. Um, I need a D and I need an I, and then I can finish my Goldilocks. <laughs> so we're going to get those cut out. Is that easy out. to peel? Sorry? Is that easy to peel? It is generally easy to peel. Sometimes you might need something like a pin or a pokey tool just okay. to get that backing off. But yeah, generally it's pretty easy to peel. So, so I'm going to not lose these pieces. I'm where is Goldilocks? Here. And then I'm going to cut a few more of those out. Where is three bears? And you know what's going to happen, don't you? What's that? I'm going to find You're them going to find as them. soon as I've cut them out. I'm just going to look under here. Oh, let's, have a, let's have a look. I don't know where we've gone. You let me do something. Uh, useless. I let's find I, your D. Right. I don't. Can you not find my eye? 
I just can't find the D or the I anywhere. Mm. You, you definitely did cut it all. You I didn't intend did. to do it No, live. I definitely did. Never mind. We're just going to have to... Mind that I am... Oh, don't put it there because I've melted my Gemini doing that. Put it underneath there. <laughs> Don't you want to do that? <laughs> no, don't do that. Don't do that. Well, we're going to have we have to run these through the okay. machine anyway. Can I just stand here for a minute? Just yeah. watch it. Yeah. So I'm intrigued to see how you would cut these with the fabric. Because as I said, wake up call. I bought these, but I bought them with the intended intention of cutting my card and paper. Sorry, I thought I said something there. Yeah, I, I struggled then. Right, I, mean, I need a D. Can you find me a D? Go I've got a big D. <laughs> Go on. Oh, did I need an I needed an I? Did I need an I? Did I need an I? I've got a little I. I've got a little I. There, there, like this. Actually, so, that is a small D, isn't it? Actually, Sorry. You don't, you don't want them this way around. You want to cut them this way around. Um, so I'm just going to trim that piece of fabric off. OK. Right. Well, so you, know, you do you know, it on the right side? Yeah, because so, I'd already cut them out once the wrong way round. OK. Um, honestly, I, I shouldn't be allowed out. Do I need an I or an L? Um, gold. I need an L. Gold. I. I've got, I've got all the L's, yeah. Um, so what we're going to use is, um, actually we'll use the plates that come with the machine. Right. Um, we'll, we'll use the fabric plates. We'll use the fabric we'll ones. Fabric plates. So you may find, because... These are on the website, by the way, aren't they? Because these dies... Oh, I don't think they are. Um, because these plates are, and these dies um, are used to cutting multiple layers of fabric. Excuse me. Why are you crying? I'm crying. Why are you crying? It made me cry, Craig. <laughs> um, it's because they cut through multiple, they do cut through multiple layers of fabric. And we're only cutting through one and a, a piece of paper. We're going to run it through the machine twice They're just to make stop, sure they're going through. Sorry. That was oh, my are mistake. They? Yeah. I'm not surprised. Everybody. Oh, there's a D. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. It was underneath the plate. Cool, isn't it? I don't know where the eye is, but. Give it a shake. No. No. No eyes. Oh, you, you were like a, a matador then. A Ma matador? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I can see you in the little no, jacket. <laughs> no, that's the bull. <laughs> Not the <laughs> matador. Yeah, well, that's true, He yeah. doesn't do that. Red rag to a bull. <laughs> All right, let's just... Is that cut out? I think it's cut out fine, actually. All right. Well, now, we've got too many Ds now. <laughs> but I don't think that really matters. Nope. Right, now we just need to put in Goldilocks. Good luck. So, gold. Oh. Always believe in me. No, that's got Gawk. Gawk. <laughs> Gawk. <laughs> what, what did you do? In, oh, no, I never touched gold. your D. <laughs> Where's the I? Gold. There's the I. I. E. There's the L. O. Give me an O. C. Give me a C. K -S. Give me a K. There you what go. Does that spell? Goldilocks. Goldilocks. Right, so we. I'll give you some more room. <laughs> I, I, it's just devastating. It is I devastation like over there. here, isn't it? There's oh, so God. much rubbish over here. No, there's not rubbish. I, no, I'm okay. I'm going to stay there. You're going to stay ask. here? Yeah, just while you're doing this. Okay. Do you want me to help? Or is it all yeah, there? help. Yeah, help. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. yeah I'll, I'll do that. Do that one because I can't do that one and then. Mm hmm. It's a nice way to be able to do this, incorporate your fabrics without actually having to use a sewing machine. Yeah, it is. Do we have this stuff on the website or something? We do don't, we? I don't think we sell it. Oh, do we not? No, which, uh, which was my, my it's Bonderweb, we don't sell it. And mm -hmm. it was um, difficult because I had to try and get hold of some, which was no and impossible last week. Well, that place that you can prime it. stuff, will they have it? No, well, they did, but it wasn't, it was, they said it was primed and it wasn't. Right. Which was a bit of a problem. Okay. That looks all right to me. It does. Yeah, and then. So any bit of fabric that you've got? Well, sh it's not. It's normal. Do you want me to pull it? Do I just? No. It's like that. <laughs> you're, you're a <laughs> monkey. So, 
How... I just want to give it a little bit of time for the glue to melt. Okay. We are going to have to move the fabric because it's not quite big enough to go over the G. Get up. But see how that is? No, see, that's... Oh, no, that's not oh, these, taken These are the ones I haven't done. Uh, and that's the O that was the wrong way around. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, these no. ones haven't been done. This, this, is, this is proving to be a bit of a... Bit of a disaster, really, no, isn't it's it? No, it's not at all. Not so, at all. Right, if I, if I make this hot... Sorry. <laughs> if I make this hot... Will it peel off? It might lift off a bit. Oh, good tip. There you go, yep. Nice. Yeah. And then gold day. Oh, there's some goldy in Blazing Squad. We were talking about Blazing Squad earlier. What's goldy in? Gold, Goldie. Goldie. Is he not a, a, a rapper or something? Yeah, with with the, yeah. He used to go out with um, what's her name? Bjork. 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 The only reason I, or, or the only reason I know him or remember him is because he was in Celebrity Big Brother one year. That's how I, Yeah, I think that's not quite. Oh, you're right. You're right. You, you. Oh. No, I haven't got the um, question mark, but I don't think it matters because I don't we've, think had, so. we've had too much fun as it is, haven't we? We have. We can't possibly have any more fun. No, I'm just going to put this together and sew around the three sides. Okay. Um, so I've got another piece of blue fabric. So I'm going to pop that on the top. That um, that needs a bit of a spray, actually. Um, we'll, we'll worry about that later, because okay. um, that that didn't have a quite enough um, bonded web on the back of it, so mm -hmm. I need to give that a spray. So we're going to put the other piece of blue fabric over the top, and we're going to stitch around those three sides, and then fold it out, and then that will make a pillowcase. Okay, I will leave you to yep. give you some space then. I just, oh very, I, I just like that interesting aspect of not having to sew. Yeah. Straight on. It makes it quite easy, doesn't it? Not to be not having to worry about that. So we're just going to put this these two pieces together, like so, and then pin around the outside. And I'm going to stitch with um, a half inch um, seam allowance rather than the quarter of an inch seam allowance um, because I actually made it a little bit bigger um, than I needed to, mm -hmm. and that will give me plenty of space um, here. But normally, quarter of an inch seam allowance is absolutely fine. Um, just go around the outside of here. And then that, now all I did was take um, a pillowcase that I already had and just took the measurements on that because I knew that filled the pillows. Oh, that's I have, good. Because yeah. the pillows are slightly different in the US, aren't they? Different sizes. I think so. Yeah. I so. think so. Yeah. And I thought I always make cushions, but quite nice to make a pillowcase. For, yeah, and you imagine that it? you know in a child's room or yeah. even like a baby's room, you know maybe on one of the you know the uh, not a rocking chair, but you know the chairs like maybe the mum has, you yeah. know when it's a newborn and maybe just something to set up, colour theme it to the room. That's what I thought. Something a bit different. I thought I quite like the idea of using these templates for you know perhaps your favourite fairy tale mm -hmm. um, is a nice option. But then if you go, let's say, uh, for instance, the deer, and if you did go down that stag rook, route, and this is, again, this is always something, I know I keep going on about it quite a lot, but by simply changing the colour can make it look completely different. Yeah. So that one there with the bears and the colours and the brights, it could be perfect for a child's room, of course. But then if you look at the deers and if you were to turn it into a stag sort of way, but then go down with your, maybe your greys and your browns and that, you could even bring that maybe even with your tartan or plaids, then you can then bring it into more of that adult realm if you wanted to yeah so it's going to work for uh, different different uh, genres different ages different sexes yep absolutely and lots of different you no know, because you don't want something that you can only use at a particular time of year you want something that um, is going to have some longevity in it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so i'm going to change my foot so i've got a quarter of an inch seam foot on there but i'm going to change it to an ordinary foot on my sewing machine okay doc um helene saying oh no we fell off the tracks Rosalind saying they're gone now. Sandra Dundas, just big capital letter saying, Craig. And then we've got Sandra Dundas is also saying, you found it, Craig. I did indeed. <laughs> Rosalind saying, good point. Even although I have these numbers already, this is a very good deal for the bundle. Extra numbers help when they start to double. That's a good point. Yeah, words, names, if you're doing phrases or sentences, if you're doing big bunting, runners. You've got, uh, of course, numbers, letters that you need multiples of. Rhonda is uh, saying, by the way, good morning, everyone. 
We got about an inch of snow last night. So pretty. Chicago area is so cold though today. Oh, I would love to see Chicago in the in the snow. I think it would be so, so beautiful. Beautiful city. Not that I've been, but I know it's a beautiful city. Sandra's also saying, Craig, my hubby just said, you must behave. No chance. Why change a habit of a lifetime? Tess is saying, this is turning out adorable. Isn't it just? Rosalind saying, these bears are adorable. And Elner saying, that's so cute. My five-year-old granddaughter would love this. It might be demo of the show and it might be demo of the day. And then it might be demo of the week. You just never know. Can we get Becky that spot? Can we do it? I'd like a star and... You are a star. I... Aww. I will be... I... I was, I was away to say it last week, I was champion Jans. Not that I needed to champion Jans because it went straight into demo of the week because it is absolutely exquisite. And I am going to be champion your product, Aww, your thank project. You. Is that because you haven't got any in this week? Oh, I'm past caring now. <laughs> I've got no chance now. I've done well last year, so Did let's you? just say... Um, no, I, I, I genuinely believe that you deserve it now because Aww, you've had some you. incredible projects. And it just so happens on the week, you know, we've always got incredible projects that are up for either demo of the day or demo of the week, then demo of the month. But I think it's about time that you, you were there, Becky. I, um, I only had two stars last year. And I've got one star already this yeah. year, so I feel quite proud about that. But so I'm, I'm not, not here very often. So I'm not think... sure who's on social for Second Chance Sunday, but with Second Chance Sunday, with that being the show where me and Debbie will switch and I'll be on this side, I will be champion <laughs> for your project. And Aww. so will Nicola. Excellent. Thank you. Well, oh. And I'm going to speak for Charlotte, even although I shouldn't. And she's in over the weekend as well. So is Charlotte going to be champion for that? Okay, brilliant. Right, I've stitched all around the outside, around the outside. Boop, 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 boop. Oh look, I found that dig. Um, now, um, to make sure your, your corners are nice and sharp, you just want to trim the excess fabric around those little corners. So when we turn this out, you've got a nice um, edge to it. You won't worry about those bits because um, th those, these bits here um, at the end of your um, pillow, they're going to almost sort of envelop that end of your pillow, okay. um, like you have on a normal pillowcase. So we've, um, my, my double is a little bit wobbly um, because it doesn't have quite enough glue on there, but I'm going to finish that off. If that does minute. happen though, you can always rectify it afterwards. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, there's no reason why not. Now I haven't stitched around my bear the way I have done with my other bears. So you can see here, um, I did some free motion machine embroidery around these other bears, which I haven't done um, today because it takes, takes quite a long time and it's um, a little bit fiddly to sort of change the um, whole shank of the machine. Um, but you've seen me do it once before. Um, you can see videos online about how to do it, but it looks really effective. Now, where here you're asking about using the heat erasable pens, I've used the heat erasable pen here to mark out um, the little mouth, mm -hmm. which I stitched with my sewing machine. Um, if you can just see here, it's slightly red. Um, now, if I use my iron, I can just my get My baby and lipstick. Over here, and it's gone. So they really are worth having, the heat erasable pens, because it does make um, your work, um, you know, you can finish it off nicely. But there you've got a little pillowcase, well, big pillowcase, um, where is Goldilocks and your three bears. That is so cute. That is so cute. Seeing how you're able to use, of course, those templates, you've got the three different sizes when it comes to the bears alone. That is incorporating the numbers that we were just looking at there, where you've got the, the alphabets, which are the numbers and the punctuations. Let's just have a look at them as well. Because they are, in actual fact, they're uh, two inches in height. So they are big, sizable letters and numbers as well, or punctuation. So whether you are wanting to write, write out or uh, sew out a little uh, phrase, maybe a name that is maybe a spelling that's not often seen or found, but then you can also go in, you can be using these with your uh, thicker mediums because these are your uh, multi-craft dies, which means they're going to go through your thicker mediums as well. 26 within this one here, all your uppercase. You do have 28 here which are your lowercase that we can see within these ones here and then what you have also got 20 apricot ah do you know something i'm just thinking 
it's the alphabet. How's that 26 and that's 28? The I's have got the I and the J. The yeah. yeah, the top of the I and the J. They're separate. So that's why you've got the 28 of them. And then the 19 of them as well, which gives you your numbers as well as all the way to your hashtags, your question marks, your ands, etc., etc. Maybe you are watching Not Being a Soft Crafter is a good one to be going into your paper crafting stash as well. I like the sizes as well, so it fills out a good space as well. If you love your scrapbooking, but you're scared how to fill the space, going in with some names or just some details with them, that will help by filling that space as well. It gives you that little bit of confidence when it comes to scrapbooking. So if you want to go for those numbers, you can see the details have just disappeared off your screen. They'll come back in once we come back from this break. We'll be back in a minute. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. show that we are we are live completely live you are going to get a saving there of 59.99 or 67 dollars 43 but if you are platinum for all of those numbers those three sets the uppercase lowercase and the numbers you're going to be 47.98 platinum or for you guys stateside 53.94 these previously launched last year if not the year before which means you can take advantage of that clear out 10 code when it comes to the checkout so once you get to the checkout promo code type in clear out 10 you're going to get an extra 10 percent off the uh, well it was only meant to be yesterday for clearance items but then uh, it's a little bit of a slip up ben then slipped up which means that you've got that benefit of today as well so it's for everything on the website apart from january and february launches with those numbers being over that £20 mark, that also means you're going to be getting your free gift as well. That will be popped into your basket and into your order automatically from the warehouse team. You don't need to do anything. The only thing you need to do is pop the code in to get that extra 10% off. That is, of course, at the checkout. So you can take advantage of that when it comes to the alphabet numbers and punctuations. So we are going to be having a look at some builder blocks, which I don't have underneath here. That's what I was looking at. And this is your builder block. This is your expansion pack squares with five dies. Now this one here, $14.99 or $22.47. Platinum comes down to $11.99 or $17.98. These ones here, yes, it's your builder block expansion pack. These are your multimedia dies. So you can be using these for, of course, heavy weight materials if you want to, outside of the paper crafts. But that one is $14.99 or $22.47. But look at that saving. You're going to be saving, well, £15 or $22.42. Essentially, that's around about half price, isn't it? Platinum comes down even more to $11.99 or $17.98. All of these, everything else that we've been seeing and that we will be seeing are across on the website, crafterscompanion.co.uk.com or .eu. Just go into shop the day, have a little bit of a peruse. And remember, all the items are part of, excluding January and February launches, part of that clear out 10 code that you can put in to your uh, promo code at the end of checkout. We've got lots of you just saying, Tess, uh, saying that that turned out adorable. Rosalind is saying the three bears are adorable. Elner is saying, which uh, I read Elner's one out about her five-year-old granddaughter. Michelle is saying, Becky, remember, the first try was too hot. 
The second try was too cold, but the third try was just, just right. right. Yep. It was indeed. Kendall is saying, hello everyone, and Christine is saying, good morning. Craig and the team from snowy Utah. A lot of snowy cold weather across yeah. the pond, isn't it? Mm. Which you would expect for this time of the year, I suppose. Rightio, so we were uh, talking about a moment ago, the Builder Block Expansion Parks that we're going to do, uh, jump across to Becky right now. Okay, now the, the expansion packs are not um, duplicate sizes of the dies that you're going to be getting in your original Builder Block. So your original Builder Block has squares, half square triangles and quarter square triangles. These are not the same sizes, so these go in addition to those. So don't think that these are extra ones, they're not. Well, they are extra, but they're different sizes. Um, so this size is the one I'm using, which is a two-inch um, square that we've got here. But they all come in the kind of packaging you'd expect from our builder blocks. Um, these are smaller than your normal builder block. If I couldn't show you one, because I haven't got one here, I've only got my original one. But they're, they're A4 basically size, the, the big ones, um, like Winding Ways and uh, Nautilus, those kind of ones. Um, um, these ones are a little bit short, a little bit squatter, um, but they work in exactly the same way. So these are copper coloured uh, multimedia dies. These are the really deep ones, so you'll be able to cut multiple layers of fabric. And we're going to have a go at making something with squares. Um, so I've got a little bit of fabric here, and I've got a little bit of fabric here. Um, so I think what I'll do is I'm just going to trim a piece of this fabric off, and then I'm just going to fold it up and run it through the machine. Um, so these will cut up to eight layers of cotton, um, no problem. Um, different, obviously different fabrics, you'll be able to cut multiple layers. If you're going to be cutting something like voile, you'll probably be able to cut 20 layers of this mm -hmm. um, because it's really, really fine. Um, but um, for more, you know, on your normal kind of fabrics, cottons, um, you're talking of around about eight layers of fabric. So I'm going to lay that on there. We do have a lovely selection of uh, fabrics. We'll have a look at it. Wake Up Call. They're on buy one, get one half price. You will find them on Shop Today as well. Lovely patterns, lovely colour tones as well. But what I do need to just let you know, that is extremely limited stock when it comes to those ones as well. So check them ones out as well when it comes to the website. OK. That's and, and we've always have a good selection of fabrics here, don't we? We do, we these, do actually, don't these we? These are our um, our new sort of cottons, plain cottons. I think in that one's out colours. of stock that you're this using one, at the moment. This is orange punch. This one. Yeah. So yeah, that one's sold out, but still a lovely selection of different ones there. So I've just folded that up roughly. So we, we know that's going to fit fine on there. Um, so we want to use, I'm going to use my fabric plates. I'm going to put that there and I'm going to put a bit of tape on it and then run it through the machine. So these oh. are just cutting out some squares. Alison Marr is saying, is there a five inch square in any of the sets? Um, I've lost the label for that um, because it's somewhere underneath here. Um, now, um, well, I could take these out. Five inch. Yeah, she's just asking, is there a five inch square in that, any of the sets? That's four and a half, that one. I do have the original builder block. Just bear with me. So this is, yeah, the, the, the did you say five? Yes. No, um, four and a half or six and a half. Okay, doc. Um, we've got, I'm afraid. Is that in the, the big... Yeah. Builder block, okay, doc. Yeah. The expansion one, the biggest one there, is four and a half by four and a yeah. half. So we're going to run this through the Gemini to cut. So um, it, what we need is um, we need three different fabrics, three different patterns, and we need um, five um, squares in each fabric um, to make what we're going to be doing now. It's five, just working it out. Yeah, five. Yeah. Um, I've already pre-cut some of these already, and I'm cutting too many. I always cut too many. I do that deliberately because um, sometimes you drop one on the floor, or when you're stitching them, it doesn't quite work. Or you lose um, you your D. Yeah, put in. You lose your D. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, you could the dog could run off with one. You don't want your dog running off with the bits that you're playing with. I thought you were um, talking about the D there. No, yeah, just any bit in general. No. Always don't. cut extra. I suppose it's Always like paper craft, we would do, wouldn't we? Yeah, exactly. Always cut too many. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use the what colour am I going to use? I'm going to use the dark, this is the forest floor one, which I think we've sold out of. Um, uh, and what I want to do is I want to stitch these two pieces together like this, first of all. And then I'm going to take you through what I'm doing. Rhonda. 
She needs a coffee, so she's bringing us with her to our kitchen. Ah. Oh. Could you what? make? I'd like a. I'd like a cup of tea. I, I could do with another cuppy. Mine's just gone cold. Yeah. Tracy makes a black cup of tea. No, Tracy's not but here. But Tracy's not here. Oh, where did that go? I was over here. Jake um, is always reluctant to do it. Well, and he makes it when he has done a cup of tea in the past. He makes a good cup of tea. He does make a good cup of tea. He does. Yeah. He is a busy guy. Do you guy, drink though, coffee today. or tea? Uh, I drink tea. Yeah. You know, I, I do drink tea. I Occasionally I'll have a coffee. I do like coffee, but no, I'm definitely... Don't blather nonsense, Nicola. I'm not at Starbucks every single day of the week. No, I'm not. Well, yeah, I was at Christmas time, but then that's because I had their toffee nut lattes and, you know, iced toffee nut lattes. So, yeah, I was there, like, every single day, twice a day sometimes. That's why I couldn't sleep over that time period. <laughs> toffee was that... nut latte, that sounds like an awful lot of sugar in that. Uh, yeah, 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 but they were so good. They were really, really I've well. I've never so, had a so toffee good. nut latte. Yeah, we were. Am I missing I'd... out? You, yeah, but that was only for the Christmas, though. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh... Yeah. So, oh uh, so no, although in saying that, what day was it? What day did I, oh, I can't remember. It was one day last week, I had a hospital appointment just to check up. And usually I've got, a, I've got a recurring theme here that if I've been to the hospital for a check up, I go to the Metro Centre after because I have to drive past. And when I do that, I'll go to Starbucks first and I'll get um, either an iced vanilla latte or just a hot one. I don't know why I'm telling you that, but yeah, that was... So it's occasionally, Nicola, I'll stop at Starbucks. Not a lot. It's not all the time. It's not all the time. Mm, sounds like it's a lot of the time. Thank you. It's not, is it? Um, so I'm just sewing the... I want, basically, I want to sew five squares together. And obviously, as we know, five squares don't sew easily together. So what I'm doing is I'm making sure that I'm starting about a quarter of an inch beyond or before the actual um, edge of my fabric. Um, and I'm finishing a quarter of an inch before the end of my fabric. Brilliant. So what it's going to make is almost like a star. Shadaya is saying... Just checked out. I got the showstopper, the numbers and alphabets and the ext extension pack. Thank you for the extra savings. Excellent. And you will, of course, get your free gift in there as well because that will be over the $20 mark. When you, when, this morning mm -hmm. in Wake Up Call, when you had the little um, gilding flake pack um, on your chair, I got really excited because I thought you'd actually bought me some Ferrero Rochers because I saw the gold. And then when I saw it, it was gilding flakes, I was still excited, but not as excited as I would have been had they been chocolate. Yeah. Could have been the Ferrero Rocher man. Yeah. With these jugglers, you're really spoiling us. Mm. Um, so you can see here, so I've sewn those four together, five together, and I want to sew this one here as well. So all I was doing is stitching along the long side or along the you know the straight side and just moving these squares around um, it, it's a really um, quite a cool way of making something that you would assume would just look like four four squares together yeah. into a five pointed star um, so again starting bef uh, just about a quarter of an inch before your um, fabric starts and then finishing about a quarter of an inch before it ends so you've created this little kind of so star cool. package um, so i'm going to give it a, a bit of a press um, i should have really been pressing this all the way through but i haven't um, so we're just going to give that a quick press now is that just like a mini iron board platform you're using it's a it's a piece of wood with some yeah like a mini ironing board okay. kind of thing um, just with some um, heat proof um, What's it called? Like wadding, wadding behind right. it. So I'm going to trim off all of these loose threads I've got here. And um, you're going to make two of these um, with your outside fabric. So again, like I said, I did it with two different pattern fabrics. So I've already done one here in this colour mm, and this one's here. Now what we also want to do is I want to sew these pieces around the outside too. Um, so th the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to take these squares and I want to put them all the way around like so. So you're going to have ones all the way like this, 
stitched together, but you stitch them on both sides of these corners. So you make almost like a, an apex, like a little point mm -hmm. that goes up like this. And this is what's going to create that kind of um, 3D effect. This one so well here. done. I've not finished it yet. It might be a disaster. It would be a disaster. It would be a disaster, not at all. Just to say, or just to remind you as well, you know, across on Shop the Day, you know, although we focused on certain threader items when it comes to wake up call and then when it comes to a softer side, whether it's threaders, whether it's Gemini, there is loads and loads and loads across there, across on our website for you to check out. You know, I know we were focusing on the numbers a moment ago, but then there's additional little offers as well, maybe for the numbers. Maybe you want to go for them separately. If you want to go for them separately, they've got 40% off each of them separately so that full bundle works out it's half price off but if you're like Craig I've already got the uppercase and the lowercase I want to get the numbers you can get just the numbers before 40% off or maybe you find that you've got all three but you use the uppercase a lot and you just want to go for that extra one you can go for that extra one for 40% off as well as these are items that I've launched previously basically last year or uh, before that, that means you could take advantage of that additional uh, saving of clear out 10. So it really is just the launches within January, February you can't use. So to go over that, the numbers and alphabets, if you were to go for them singly, let's say the uppercase singly, that means then you're going to get 40% off. Put that promo code in where you're going to get that extra 10% off. So then there gives you your 50% as well. And then, well, I believe as well, if I just double check, it does mean then, yeah, that will still be over that £20, $20 mark, so you'll be able to take advantage of that free gift as well. So check them all out on the website. OK, I'm still going round and stitching, but I just need to um, carry on here. So you can see how that's beginning to work. So you're getting almost like these sort of points um, sticking up. Again, we're just going to work away round. So we've got a couple more to do. OK. But this is quite a cool way of using your, your squares. It's and, quite cool something a little bit different. To see it come to life, yeah. yeah. And then the ways I'm sure you'll be able to use it afterwards, the actual finished project. I suppose from what you're doing, I suppose it could go for many different things as to what I'm away to say, Becky, but it could be, you know, old fabric things that have been incorporated with maybe old blankets or that and you yeah. want to recycle them and you want to use them up into newer updated That's projects. That's a really good idea actually because I think you know there's something um, you know if you could use you can make a little this is going to make a pin, pin cushion mm -hmm. but if you can make something like this and you can incorporate fabric that meant something maybe yes. children, bits of children's school uniform mm -hmm. or um, bits of your you know your dad's shirts um, you know, or, or granddad shirts or something like that. Yeah. That would be a good option. I just need to run, I just need to fill up my bobbing so I've run out of um, okay. thread. But you can see how that's coming together now. So it's creating that kind of star. It is, isn't it? Um, so we're going to carry on with that. Just going to quickly do yeah, this. No problem. Yeah, I'm just just thinking there what, you, what you've said that, you know, imagine, you know, if you, you do love your sewing, you're into your soft crafts and you make someone a pin cushion or a little pocket or a zip pocket or something like that and at Christmas time or of course at uh, any celebration they can open it up and they go oh yeah that's a lovely zip pocket or that and then you can say that was actually, that's actually been made with with dad's shirt or mum's dress or yeah. something that Almost you're like able a to take item. it's a memory isn't it yeah something that you can use but then it's got the memory because it was one of their favorite shirts um or any piece of clothing that you might want to start to do and that's actually something a good way in which you can incorporate your soft crafts uh, for sure when it comes to these that one being of course the builder block expansion pack which is the squares um are we quickly going to do this nicola just while um becky's just get yeah perfect right deal uh we have got our crafty clear out this is our um surprise box we've got a few of these ones left over from cartload last night so just while becky's doing it you're not missing anything don't worry what we are going to do is we're just going to showcase this one here now this is your crafty clear out this is a 15 piece surprise box this is die stamps and more i'm away to show you them all 40 pound 50 dollars platinum comes down to 32 pound or forty dollars. Now you've got your your uh, shaker. This one is your uh, glass. This one here being the stamp and die set to create your shakers within these ones here. 
We've also then got our peeking in to say hello. It's a lovely concept, it's like a trifold concept when you've got with that. You've also then got your three pack of your low tack tape, that's included. We have also got your Spectrum Noir, that one there being your 12 piece. You've got that one included, that's your metallic pencils. All of these within this one here, this crafty clear out, you're going to be getting that free gift as well because it's over the 20 mark. But what you can still do is take advantage of that clear out 10 code as well when it comes to checkout. So when it comes to checkout, you're going to get that extra 10% off by popping in clear out 10. I mean, look at these, you're getting your large nesting dies as well. I absolutely adore. All of this is what you're going to be getting. FYI, I've got a master class with this range tomorrow. I've got uh, tomorrow myself and Becky. This one is going to be within the master class. We've got our layering uh, dies as well, sentiment dies. We've got our sentiment topper phrase dies. We've also got garden gnomes. I've got the garden gnome collection coming up on Monday Makers with Leanne. Scratch and reveal. Oh baby, so that's included. You're also going to be getting a full pack 400 white stamens from Enchanted Dreams. Colour them if you want. And then you've also got your DL Slimline Cotton and Boss folder as well. That one's 3.7 by 8.5 in inches. So all of that, that craft clear out, 15 piece surprise. And that's 15 elements. Within some of these, you've got eight individual elements inside each one. So they all start to add up. £40 or $50, you're saving is £102.85. For you guys stateside, you're saving £134.54. If you're platinum, it comes down to £32.40. Please do remember as well, take advantage of that clear out 10 code. When it comes to the checkout, you'll be able to take advantage of that. Plus, you will also get your free gift as well today. That free gift of the Gildan Flakes ends midnight tonight. So it's a really, really good one to stock up with across on the website. Not many left, but we did want to give you the opportunity to get your hands on it while we've still got some. Right, Becky, back to you. Right, so I'm going to do the last one here. So I have now got the sewing machine um, all sorted out. So last one is going on here. So these are just the squares that we're lining up. Um, with the other squares again quarter of an inch beyond, before the actual edge of your um, fabric <laughs> imagine this as well there. if you do it with maybe baby blues or of course your baby pinks and I like that. I don't know why I've got that idea of zip stuck in my head. Now, I'm not necessarily you saying that you could do a zip with the project you're making here, yeah. but projects with these incorporating zips, I know they're on shop the day as well. Yeah, our, our zip, zips on the roll are amazing uh, because they, you know, you do, you have 10, I think it's five metres worth of zip and you get 10 pulls in there. So if you're going to be making something, you know, with a really big zip, um, you don't have to fiddle around trying to find the zip in the shop, which is always a bit of a challenge. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you don't have to worry about that. So it makes it nice and easy. So you've got this first part here and you've got the, so this is going to be the, the top of the bottom and then this is the side. And then this is going to be the other part of the, the, um, the little, um, what's this called? Pin cushion. cushion. That's the word I'm looking for. Now, what we want to do is we want to stitch all around here. So we're going to put these pieces together like this but we do want to leave one um, open so we can stuff it um, with all of the, the stuffing that we want to use so we're going to just put these together I'm going to do it with my um, you could do this with your um, clips or your pins depending on what you happen to have so we're going to make sure we get everything in the right place so it might just take a little bit of time just getting those corners together you can see how it goes around. Gareth Dobbs is saying, up. hello, really late. Don't worry, you're here. You're here. You'll be able to catch up as well later on. You can watch us back across on YouTube, of course. Chantelle is saying, good morning. Good morning to you. Afternoon from here, Newton Aycliffe. We are 3.34 if you are watching live. Evelyn Boyle is saying, Boyd is saying, good morning, my crafty family. How's everyone doing? I'm late. Don't you worry. It's lovely to see your name popping up. I am very well indeed. Becky, are you well? I'm very well. You are very well? Yeah, I'm very well. Nicola, good. how are you? So she's good, but she could do with a nap. Right, I if you can like hang on. I feel like most days, to be honest. 25 minutes, you can have a little nap. 
Jamie, how are you doing? He's just gone, it's Friday, so yeah, Jamie's all good. <laughs> Is uh, Charlotte still sitting in the gallery? She's good, thank you very much. So she'll be taking over again after Jamie when it comes to Craft House later on. I would ask uh, Jake, but he's still a busy boy. I've hardly seen him today. He's still make, busy making his cups of tea. He is, yeah. Yeah, he's away picking the tea leaves. Okay. So mm -hmm. picking, picking the tea leaves. Tea leaves. <laughs> right. Round here. What's your favourite tea? Do you like your tea? Tetley tea. Oh, Tetley. Oh. Tetley tea. Yeah. I, I, I always go for Yorkshire. Yorkshire tea. Yeah. No, oh, my Tetley tea. Doesn't matter how many times I mention them, I tag them, they're not sending any freebies as of yet. Aww. But yeah, it's Tetley all the way. Love Tetley. Uh, no, Nicola, I don't have any left from that huge, big, ginormous bag that you guys gave me when I was in the hospital. Uh, well, that what to be fair, that was, um, yeah, that was October, not last year, the year before. Yeah. So yeah, that was that was like a huge bag. I don't know, it was like five hundred. It's like a proper catering size bag. Yes. Is it? Uh huh. Yeah. Yep. So mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I was I was complaining about the tea in the hospitals because yeah. you know hospital the staff nurses doctors do amazing things, but what the uh, inside of the hospitals don't do is supply very good tea. That's true. So I was complaining. And, and we're a nation that's run on tea. We are indeed. So you'd want to make sure mm -hmm. that you had you know t a good tea. So okay. what Nicola went and done on behalf of the team has got me a enormous, enormous, humongous, <laughs> ginormous bag of Tetley tea. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Yeah, I was dealing them on the ward. Were you? Well, I was, there was a few that were like, oh, you got your good tea bags. I was like, yes, I do. <laughs> mm -hmm. OK, right now I'm going to stitch around the outside. So I've pinned that all together. Um, I've marked a little bit of a space over here to remind me not to stitch over that. Mm -hmm. Whether I remember that bit I, or not, we don't know. Okay. Um, because, you know, I know what I'm like. You know what I'm like, I'm bound to forget. I know what you like as well, I yeah. I know. Mm -hmm. Can't take me anywhere. No, we can't. So quarter minute seam allowance around here. And that should just pick up all of those bits of fabric. That and that got. won't catch on the pin or? I'm trying not to stitch on the pins. Um, I try not to. So, yeah, I, do, I mean, some people do stitch over their pins. I've had times when pins have flown up into my face, so I don't like that idea. Oh, no. I think it's a bit dangerous. No, you don't want to do that. But um, not for everybody. Lots no. Of people do it. I'm not pin cushion, no. And it, it's funny, because um, uh, Jamie said the other day I was scatty, and I, and I am. I'm terribly scatty. Um, if you could... Huh? <laughs> no, you have. no, 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 be, because you're absolutely right. And I was, um, I, I am terribly scatty. And uh, you're the first person to actively notice. <laughs> but it's, um, it's um, round where I work here. It's just, there's just a mess because there's stuff everywhere. Because I just sort of think, oh, I don't know. Um, I might, I might make that um, during this show. I might make this. Um, sometimes I don't. You know, I, I have sort of lots of different options for the demos and I can't quite decide until the actual day as to which ones I'm going to do. Because sometimes you don't know what's selling, you don't know what people want to see. Very true. Um, so I just, um, but yeah, it just, it just made me laugh when you said, oh, I was like, oh no, my secret's out now. She's a scary woman. Right, so I stitched around here. Now, hopefully I've caught all the pieces. Just check all around in case anything slipped. Okay, and we're going to turn out through this very, very tiny little gap. Now, you could use bigger squares. Um, if you're going to be making this, I wouldn't use smaller squares because it just becomes really, really difficult. Unless you've got super nimble fingers mm -hmm. um, and you're, you want to make a really tiny pin cushion, you can, of course, do that. Um, but if you wanted to use one that's um, you know, easy to make or easy-ish to make, this is the way to go. So I'm just sort of poking all of those points out in here. I didn't bring my chopsticks with me today. Um, I was changing them for new chopsticks because I wasn't very happy with my chopsticks. I, I had a super large chopstick here which I've been using to switch on the extractor fan in my house. Um, so that it's, it's, it's got a different use now. Um, like that. Right, but what I do have is loads of this. Ooh. So this is all um, stuffing, this toy stuffing. Um, now pin cushions, sometimes you find in push, pin cushions they have sand because as you put your pins into the pin cushion, the sand helps them keep sharp. Um, sometimes they have walnut um, 
shells as well, we've got okay. ground up walnut shells. Um, but we're just going to be using this. You could, of course, make a little um, weight in here, mm -hmm. um, but we're just going to be using this for today. So not only could you make that, say, for, you know, a family member or that that does soft crafts and you've used, you know, the mum's dress or the dad's shirt. If you've been somewhere to a family vacation to a certain beach or that, I know you're not meant oh, to take sand nice and stuff like that off the beach, but, you know, we do do it, don't we? You could then get a handful of sand or anything like that from a beach or vacation that the family go to. Yeah, and have that inside. Well, you can buy sand, can't you, from places? You know, yeah, yeah, you can, but I'm more on that sentimental. Yeah, but no, I meant you know, you could go if you're not picking it up from the beach. You you could probably go and buy it from a um, a sand shop. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what I mean. Sometimes you have um, you have well, you know, where there's places well, where you come to the sandy sand. shop. <laughs> Mm. Uh, well, you know, there's shops for everything these days. Well, yeah, well, but not for sand, to be fair. Do you not think? No. Oh. No, you don't go into a local sand shop and they've got different textures, different colours. Yeah, different... exactly. You know, you get... I've, I've had little things like touristy things that you get with all the different colour sand or, you know, when you've been to somewhere like, I don't know, Tenerife where it's volcanic and your sand, the sand's black, mm -hmm. they have them in little little vials for you to take home. Yeah, but they're not usually just a full shop dedicated to sand. Yeah. Right? Oh my God. Yeah, it's like a gift shop. <laughs> yeah. Right, I know what I'm, I know like what I'm going to open when mix. I become a millionaire. <laughs> sand shop. Sand shop. <laughs> okay, so, um, what would I call it? Um, oh, Sandy land. Touch of glass. Yeah. Sand beneath my wings, sandstorm. Sand yeah. yeah. You'd have to play that tune from, <laughs> from Sandstorm in there continuously on a loop. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I think that might, might, might make my ears bleed after a while. Mm -hmm. So I'm, 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 I'm still stuffing. Still stuffing. There's, you can fit quite a lot of stuffing in here. You want, you want it to be um, fairly, um, fairly stuffy. Mm hmm. So do you want it quite taut? Um, do you want a little bit of give in it? No, I don't want any give in it. No. No, I want it um, solid as much as possible because you don't, you know, you, otherwise it's not going to be useful as a as a pin cushion. But and you also need the lots of stuffing in it to see the actual shape. You know, otherwise you're not going to see that star properly if you don't put all of the. You can see how that's beginning to look. <laughs> I love that. So a little bit more in here, and then um, I just, it just needs hand stitching um, to keep that little gap closed. Okay. But, um, what a lovely wee gift idea. And just with squares. That's all you're doing. Yeah, it's just, just squares. You're just using the squares. You would not think no. that that is just squares. Exactly. Where do you get the fluff? From the fluff shop? The fluff shop, yeah. Yeah, yeah next to the sand shop? Yeah. It, no, it's not next to the sand shop. That'd be stupid. This is happening. Sorry, yeah. How, how silly am I being stupid? Hey, next to the sand shop. <laughs> I got it from the zip near the zip shop. <laughs> Chantelle, you're absolutely right. I find it amazing how many of us have serious illnesses, but we all have our happy place when it comes to crafting. That's it absolutely very is. Very true. Yeah. If my Crohn's is playing up, if I feel up to it, I go in and craft. It takes my mind off it. Mm -hmm. Well, I am. Um, uh, so I'm trying to lose some weight because I've got enormous. You're gorgeous as you are. Uh, no, I need to lose some weight. And um, the the I have um, with the diet that I'm doing, they also give you a, a mentor. And she said, um, do you have anything that you any activities, any things that you do, any hobbies? You know, maybe you craft. And I was like, well, crafting is a little bit like work now. Um, so, you know, it's not um, an activity, but she was like, oh, you know, you need to try and stop yourself from being bored because obviously that's the time we all yeah. try, try and you know, end up eating, don't we? And um, she said to me, or oh, maybe try a different craft. So I bought a, a needlepoint kit. Okay. Um, and I'm really enjoying making that. So I think, you know, you're right. It takes your mind off any sort of um, issues that you may be having, doesn't mm -hmm. it, when you're sure. um, not feeling great. And it's I, a, 
It makes you feel wet, makes you feel happy. It, yeah, it really, really does. And, and I'm, I, I find it tough sometimes, but I can at times um, differentiate between work and what is just relaxing craft. I yeah. do have a habit that I will go in and be, right, I'm just going to take a hunky-dory kit and then I'll be starting and I'll be thinking, do you know what? I've got Monday Makers on Monday. I'm just as well prepping that. As my, and it's like, no, get out of work mode yeah. and just be in relaxation mode. Yeah. It's difficult to, though, isn't it? Because I think for us, there is a fine line between, um, you know, we, we do this job because we love to craft. Mm -hmm. um, and that love doesn't disappear just because we're doing it as yeah. a job. Um, but, yeah, it does um, end up being one of those sort of tricky mm -hmm. kind of things that we do. And so I'm, I'm almost finished here. I'm just going to stitch up this okay. little, um, gap down here and I'm going to be done. You know, and, and, you know, some might say, well, right, Craig, where is the difference? Where is that line? Well, you know, if we are crafting for work, we are having to think of what products we've got on the shows, what cardstock we've got on the shows to work with it, what we've got on offer. So we have to think about everything that's going into that one demo. Whereas if I craft just for myself, I literally will take whatever die, I'll take whatever stab, I'll take what I don't have to think about it to that certain extent. I'm not having to worry about combining it so you guys at home can see the benefit of having different things together. And then that way, that is what keeps your mind going and ticking and it doesn't rest. Whereas if you craft just for yourself and not necessarily have a care as to what you're using, what cardstock, what papers, what stamp, what ink, then uh, that's a nice way just to relax. No, I think you're you're absolutely right. I think it's um, when I'm when I'm crafting at home, I keep thinking, oh yeah, I should. I, I have that guilt. I keep thinking, oh, I should maybe be practicing, um, you know, some product that's coming up. Yeah, quite I'm soon, the same. I'm the same. Um, and all those sorts of things. And then you know, you're like, oh, I'll do that in a minute. I'm mm -hmm. just going to have a go. And I really like coloring. I've um, no, because I did quite a few of those. Um, presenting some kind of happy shows. Yeah. That's really um, sort of got to me actually, and I find it incredibly therapeutic i made all these i did all these the stamping and, and i colored in all these different um things for christmas i didn't actually send the christmas cards out in the end because i you know, ran out of time and with all the strikes that we had um, it didn't happen but there was something so therapeutic about just the coloring it's just a super relaxing it thing is. to do it really is you don't have to make it into anything no. at the end of the day no you're, you're you're absolutely right and you and i think that's the thing we sometimes think We've got to create something at the end and exactly. we've got to do something with the item. But actually just the act of doing mm -hmm. is the, the thing that we should really be enjoying um, as well. For sure. Okay, let's finish that off. This has been incredible watching that from start to end. There we go. So he probably needs, he needs a little bit of wiggling and stuffing, but that is a little pin cushion. Just made out of squares. That you Becky, can see. that is so cool. I really, really like that. Thank I am you. so glad I'm not having to choose demo of the show. <laughs> and incidentally, we're going to do demo of the day, aren't yep. we? I believe because later on it's a craft house with myself and Tiffany, so there won't be any demos when it comes to that one. So I believe if we get the, was that two demos that we've done within this hour? Yeah, only two today. I've not been very quick today, have I? Look, what you've created though, pillowcase, pillowcase. with the word in, and then also that pincushion. So we've got Goldilocks with, with your, 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 your sad W. I'm going to have to sort, oh, I'm going to sort that out in Why? a minute. Sad W. So pillowcase, a Goldilocks pillowcase is number one, and number two is your star, star from squares pincushion. Perfect. That is absolutely awesome. So you'll have a few moments to get the votes in for that one and then we will do demo of the day, as I say, with that being Craft House later. We're not going to have a, de a demo of that show because, well, it's going to be hard to get it from Tiffany all the way across the globe. Quickly. Of course you can. Somebody messaged in asking whether you could use a textile glue for paper. That's right. Um, yes, it works fine on here. However, as Craig said, um, the glues have been formulated in order to do a particular job. Um, so I would say if you've got paper glue, use paper glue for paper. Um, but it seems to have worked absolutely fine. I've put together, there are two pieces of linen cardstock 
on here. Okay. Um, so, you know, they need quite a lot of grip with those two pieces. Um, there is no warping on here at all, wow. so it seems to work absolutely fine. Add a push, but yeah. as Craig said, use the stuff that you know is meant yeah. to use. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you for that one, Becky. Uh, Chantelle is also saying, I love taking small cross-stitch projects and then I can combine my card making with my cross-stitching. That's how I started. And I was talking about this the other day. I can't remember who we were speaking to. I think it was on Crafters TV. That's how a lot of people start craft. Actually, it was Ben in Roaring Twenties. Between Heat and Boston, but also cross-stitching. That's where a lot of people start card making because they'll make the little cross-stitch project. They'll then combine that into making a card front for it and then that starts them off on the journey. So between cross-stitching and heat embossing. Garth Dobbs saying, I usually sit here and stare at my stash and sigh, but since I got my template set, I'm actually making and I'm getting the therapy from it. Excellent. It's what we love to hear. Kathy Myers is saying hello from Missouri. Michelle is saying so cute, Becky. And Linda Lewis is saying that's brilliant. Isn't it just? Love it. Absolutely brilliant. That one there was, of course, the, um, what was that one again? Oh, the Builder Blocks. Builder Blocks expansion. Um, expansion Pack. Expansion Pack. Right, we're going to have a look at some fabrics now. This is the flower blooms on terracotta that I've got here. Now, these are cut by the metre. These are, of course, cotton, price per half metre, $6.99 or $10.49. It's buy one, get one half price. Platinum price comes down to $5.59 or $8.39 for the half metre. That one there, as we say, being the blooms on terracotta. Gorgeous musty tones with that floral there. I will uh, open I'm not going to open them all out because I've kind of got them folded so that you can see the pattern. But you can see from that backdrop there, I mean, look at that. Really nice one for a male shirt. I can see Ben in a shirt within that style there. But that one is your blooms on terracotta, flower blooms on terracotta. We've then also got our flowers on wheat. So this is Hannah's flowers on wheat. So same again, so this one is your cut by your uh, cut by the metre, all cotton, $6.99 or $10.49. You're buying one, you're getting one half price, $5.59 or $8.39. We are also then going to be having a look at our floral butterflies in white. Cut by the metre, once again, $7.49 or $10.99 as part of buy one, get one half price. Platinum is $5.99 or $8.79. And then we're then going to be going into Flutterby Forest Floor in Rose. So this one here, $7.49 or $10.99. Buy one, get one half price. $5.99 platinum or $8.79. So if you do go for more than, of course, the metre, it will come in that continuous size. So it's not going to be lots and lots of metre cuts. We have then got our, that one there, so that's a, is that a Christmas one? This is, ah, there we go, that's why. Ginger bread lane here. So this one here is. Um, so this one's all of it, Nicola, is it? Yeah, one, all, two. All those ones are in that yeah, but five pack. Yeah, one, two, three. Well, I've only got four now. Oh, it's a star in that one, isn't it? My Superman cape. So this one here, gingerbread lane, five piece, half meter bundle, hundred percent cotton, eleven ninety nine, thirteen dollars ninety eight. Platinum comes down to nine fifty nine or eleven eighteen. So we've got the gingerbread. We've then got the, which I think look like strawberries. Cookies. But they're actually cookies. Christmas cookies. We've then got the, which I say is love hearts, but this one is actually the carrots. <laughs> we've also then got the houses, which I say are houses. I love that kind of light duck egg blue right in that backdrop there. And then we've also got Superman. We've got the stars. <laughs> I love the fact that we've just made up new names just for everything. Completely made up names for these ones here. Eleven ninety-nine or thirteen dollars ninety-eight for that gingerbread lane five-piece half meter bundle, which is one hundred percent cotton. If you are platinum, that's then going to come down to eleven ninety-nine, or for you guys stateside thirteen ninety-eight. Then let's have a look and see. We have got a result. So, demo of the show, Becky, mm -hmm. it goes to 
Okay, I'm surprised. I'm not so I'm surprised. I thought it was going to be the other one, but it goes to number one. Ah, oh, okay. Excellent. Yeah. So, where can you have number? Yeah, you can have number two if you want. Um, that, so that is your um, pillowcase with your different um, little teddy bears on there. Um, and where is Goldilocks? Yeah. So I've just put a couple of cushions in there, so it doesn't look quite so so floppy. But it's the same size as a, a pillowcase. Right. Well, then let's do a demo of the day. Yeah, do you want me to bring this over? Yeah, you bring that one over because the cushion that will be number what are the pillow? Sorry, it will be number one with the bears. And then number two, thank you very much, will be the bag with the fox. So here we go. Number one is Goldilocks and the three bears. That's your pillowcase, so that's number one. And then number two is this gorgeous, cute little hold all bag that Becky done within Wake Up Call with the fox, where we've still not established, as of yet, what the fox says. But that one is number two. So number one. Or number two, the choice is yours. You've got a couple of minutes and Rebecca will feed us through the winner of that one. Well. Craig, if you put that pillowcase over there behind you, do you know what that would be? Bear behind. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll just put that one. It made me laugh. <laughs> yeah. Who needs Ben? <laughs> <laughs> Who needs Ben? Um, when are you back? Tomorrow. With so you. you are. Yes. <laughs> Bright and early. Here at six, aren't we? What? Aren't we? You might be. I ain't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really looking forward to tomorrow. So we've got play your crafts right tomorrow. We do indeed. And I, I like to win. What is it going to be? Yeah, I'd love to know what the Nicola, game is. Nicola, have you done the game? Right. So Nicola's done the game. Oh. Oh, oh, so a bit like in Friends. Yeah. This hand, hand is my hand. hand. This, this hand, hand is your hand. hand. Oh, no, wait, that's, that's my hand. hand. Oh, oh, no, yes, it's, it's your, your hand. hand. <laughs> right, OK. <laughs> Looking forward to that one. So it's going to be uh, you versus me. Yeah. Play your crafts, right? Yep. Then what's our master class? I, I want to say confetti dies. Is that right? No, that's going to be the craft along. That's craft along, okay. So, in actual fact, the confetti border dies, we'll look at them within player crafts right as well. Interlaced. That's it, yeah. So, we're going to be having a look at the interlaced dies. It's uh, four demos that we're going to do within the hour. Just stepping it up uh, next stage just to see how you can be using your interlaced dies. These are absolutely beautiful if you've never seen them before. So, yeah, we're going to have fun all throughout the day. Mm -hmm. The craft longs we're saying it is the confetti border dies. We do have them back in stock as well, minus one of them. So, if you've not got your hands on them, tune in tomorrow. You'll be able to get your hands on them with Becky on this side with uh, player crafts, right? But we will have some fun, of course. That is it for, well, for you for today, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is, yep. I'm, I'm going out for something Sad. to eat. You get an early finish. I do, yeah. You get You're... to have a bath. I need to have a bath, yeah. No, I so say you get to have a bath. Oh, OK. Yeah. Well, I'm just hoping there's no more banging on the bathroom door mm -hmm. when there's nobody in the house. You have some company. Me. You could do. It's a, bit, some it's a bit scary. I might have to call you in the middle of the night going, it's scary there's somebody in the house. Yeah, my phone will be off, so don't oh. bother trying. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you know, you're all Yay. right. You're all right. Yeah. No, I, I would be. I, I'd put you as part of my Do Not Disturb. You, you'd, be, you'd be there with your ghost hunting I would be. Kit, I'd be there you? with my vet yeah. field in, most yeah. wanted jacket and everything. Yeah. I'd be there for yeah. sure. Excellent. Uh, I've had a blast this morning. It's been I'm great. looking forward to tomorrow. Yep. But, you know, I do. it's not something I do a lot, so it's always interesting to see what Good. you I'm make, glad you've found how you great. make it. Everything that we have seen, so much more is across on the website. Just go on to crafterscompanion.co.uk.com or .eu. You're going to find it all on Shop the Day as well. You can still go into the Threader section as well, the Gemini section. But please remember as well, right up till midnight tonight, you can still take advantage of that clearance 10 code. So anything that's on the website, excluding January or February launches, you'll be able to put in that promo code, of course, which is clearance 10. That's going to enable you to get 10% off your combined order up until midnight tonight as well we are part of of course our um, uh, kindness given 
event with it comes to Crafters TV. So that means today is our free gift. So if you spend over £20, $20 or €20, Euros, Random Crafts of Kindness, that is, that one there you are going to be getting your free gift, which is your Frosty and Bright. So when it comes to the Frosty and Bright, that's completely free. You don't need to do anything. It will be added automatically into your order from the warehouse guys and girls, as long as your order is over £20, $20 or €20. Euros. Rightio, so just waiting on that result coming through. So yeah, when it comes to, of course, Crafters TV, Becky's here uh, tomorrow. Debbie Robinson will be on this side as well. So it's going to be a nice way to have a look at things such as the interlace dies, but then on Sunday we'll be having a look at our uh, scoreboards as well as our embossing boards. I did do a couple of master class or kind of starter skills at the back end of last year. This is now just taking it up that next level in how you can use your uh, embossing boards when it comes to of course, the embossing boards. We are also going to have a first look as well with myself in Academy of Colour number five. So that's our duo pencils. So we're going to have a look at that ahead of the launch with Leanne on Wednesday. Wednesday, I'll be in on Wake Up Call. Leanne will be in for the Academy of Colour launch. And then on the Wednesday night, cartload has been changed into the Wednesday night. And that's going to be with Leanne, Leanne's cartload when it comes to... Uh, uh, well, Wednesday, and then you'll have a cartload preview on Tuesday as well. So it's going to be really, really fun. I'm really looking forward to this week because I've got the launch on Monday with Leanne with our brand new Simple Create a Card dies. Oh, that sounds good. They are simple and beautiful in design, yeah. but they're not simple in the ways that you can use them. It's Meaning, a good one for, my, for someone that's starting. Perfect, Perfect for, for someone that's starting. There you go. Yep. Perfect for anyone that is starting. But then if you are more advanced, then you can then start to use other dies in our uh, other uh, crafty elements within, of course, your crafty stash. That is all this week as well. You're going to find me dotting in back and forwards throughout the week. Um, we are still waiting. I think we are just going to have to give you the result when we come back later on. Um, oh. So. Oh, well. Oh, well, we're going to have to leave you Come hanging. on, don't just put two in. I can put two in. <laughs> well, 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 you know, pencil number yeah, two exactly. in. But, yeah, um, thank you very much as well, Rebecca, for all your help. We will all see you. Becky will see you tomorrow, but we'll all see you later on live for Craft House with Totally Tiffany. We'll see you then.